Watching. You're watching Crypto TV Plus. Crypto TV Plus. Crypto TV Plus. <laughs> Crypto TV Plus. Stay tuned. Great opportunities are presented to us every day. But sometimes we miss them, living a life of regrets and what ifs. Opportunities come at once. Or maybe not. Now, now, Digital Money Revolution has come to Africa. Wealth is no longer for a selected few. Money has been redefined. Introducing Tatcoin. Tatcoin is Africa's utility token that gives you access to a life of endless possibilities. You can shop, buy real estate, travel, invest, and build wealth. For more information, visit www.abisnetwork.com. Smart investor. I dare say that because I understand the cryptocurrency markets and I'm up to date on every new development, fintech, and blockchain ecosystem. All because I watch the Inside Blockchain Show on Crypto TV Plus. Every Monday morning, Crypto TV Plus brings you news headlines of top stories, interview with an expert, and give you detailed market analysis to enable you make the right business moves. Now you too can become a smart investor if you don't miss it. The Inside Blockchain Show, only on Crypto TV Plus. Hello and welcome to another thrilling episode on the AMA series brought to you by Crypto TV Plus. My name is Ofra Pop and today we are having an exclusive interview with the CEO of Chiji 14 Exchange and the person of Mr. Odum Chijioke John. Before we meet him, let us know that there is giveaway today. Yes, what is a show without a giveaway? So 100,000 naira will be going out to 10 persons today. And how do you participate? First of all, all you have to do is follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, at Crypto TV Plus. Also, follow official chg 14 Exchange on Instagram. A link will be dropped in the comment section for you to sign up to my Rocket app. That is the only way you can actually get access to this giveaway. And the most important thing, invite at least 10 people to this program. How do you invite them? You can copy the link on Facebook and share it to your friends. And they can send a message in the comment section saying, Hello, Offer Pop invited me to this program and boom. You've won yourself 10,000 naira. So Mr. Chijoke is here with us. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Chijoke. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Um, good evening. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How have you been? How has your week been? 
Rick has been eventful, very eventful. Um, we've been working a lot um, after reopening from the brief um, curfew. But right. altogether, everything has been fine. Um, and we're looking forward to greater things. All right. We're so honored to have you on this program. So let's get straight into this program. So the first question I'll be asking you, as a crypto trader, because your profile states you're a crypto trader, a businessman, and an entrepreneur, so what is the blockchain technology? Like, oh. as a crypto trader, can you just help us define what the blockchain technology is all about? Okay, look. Um, right. So the blockchain technology, simply put, is um, an open source distribution ledger. Um, which is used to store transactions, transactions uh, between two um, parties securely um, online. So, um, in field in which we have created cryptocurrency, um, cryptocurrency is actually built on the blockchain technology. Um, so, it helps us have the open source network whereby we can right. see all transactions. We can okay. also create safely and securely. All right. All right. Thank you so much for that. Okay. So the next question I'll be asking is, what drew your interest into the crypto space? What actually made you go into crypto? Okay. Um, so my story is a bit um, funny. Um, I first heard about cryptocurrency in 2017. All right. In February 20th. Um, a friend of mine then was a very active trader. Okay. And um, yeah, so he was a very active trader and was doing quite well at that time. I think we were um, around um, seven hundred dollars for one Bitcoin then. Okay. Um, and I got to I I think I would invite he did invite me to a party, and I was watching what he was doing. I was seeing everything. I, I tried speaking to him. I tried speaking to him, but it was not. It was not so forthcoming. So I started doing my research. Then um, I think I studied um, the market and everything for a few months. Okay. Um, I watched it grow to about nine hundred dollars. Then I decided to get get actively involved. Okay. Um, I tried to get actively involved. I started trading and I was part of the move from nine hundred dollars to about twenty thousand by December that same year. Wow. It was a it was a very eventful year. It was a very good one for me personally. Okay. Um and that is me describing myself as a trader because basically what we what we do what we do do then was we buy and then we sell for profit or we hold and as it moves we sell. Okay. So um in back in in 2018, yeah. um, then I was trading actively with um, various platforms. Uh, one of the platforms with which I was trading back in 2018, um, for no reason whatsoever, started hitting um, Nigerian accounts. Okay. Blocking a lot of accounts in 2018. Wow. And um, luckily for me, I would say luckily for me, my account was one of them. Wow. No explanation. We tried contacting support and there was no explanation. Just um just like that, you're being restricted, you have no access to your Bitcoin, your money, nothing. So I, I saw I saw the lapses with that because I I, I, I felt um, the blockchain tech is supposed to be a secure um, access, but this was going on. And then I we I was also using the WhatsApp market, I was seeing how people were were getting scammed and um, getting robbed of their money and um, it came to me why not create a very safe environment where, whereby people could uh, get access to cryptocurrencies and the more prominent one bitcoin which i was operating at that time yeah and that was uh, um that was what gave birth in 2018 october to um gd14 exchange okay so please um you said something about um people losing money at that period Weren't you scared that you were going to lose money? As in, why didn't you just drop out of crypto when you saw that people were losing money? You know, some people would have been afraid and be like, oh, I can't go into this, I can't lose this much money. Okay, so if you're if you're part of the journey from $900 and to, you watch something go to $300, yeah. I doubt that because 
one platform decides to be funny, you would want to drop out. Okay. You know, I think everyone to trade their Bitcoin um, during that year must have been now exciting. Now, the fire is still burning. So we, 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 we went down to about $3,000 in um, 2018, and we, we, the fire was still burning. We, we, we believe, I believe so much in um, Bitcoin in particular. I believe so much in Bitcoin. I haven't watched I haven't watched that group. So I don't see what um, they did at that time as a reason for me to drop out. I only saw it as an avenue to create a more safer environment where okay. um, people could trade and um, get access to um, Bitcoin securely. All right, all right. That's a very good one. That's a nice one. Okay, so in an um, article in the Guardian newspaper, I saw where you mentioned that people see um, trade um, Bitcoin trading as a get-rich scheme which is not so can you tell us why you said that okay i think what i said was it gets rich quick okay yeah get rich quick scheme yeah mm, yes because you can get rich by trading, all right um, in the currency but um the, the, i was speaking of the mindset then the mindset which you, you go you go you want to venture into trading yeah um most people you see you see somebody a friend of yours or someone you know or a mentor online, um, doing very well, um, driving the best cars and all that. And just for that reason, you have to feel like, I, I want I want to trade Bitcoin. You want to jump into it without um, getting the necessary knowledge. Because as I said, um, when I saw my friend trading at that time, um, I wanted to go into it. I tried to contact with him. He was not so open to but well, I, 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 I took, I, I'm sure I took, it took about three months of okay. extensive research as to what it was. The plus, I, I did lots and lots of research on my okay. own, on my own. Like there was, there was, there were not so many schools or like now where we have, um, that's one platform. thing, that's one thing young people out there should look up to. He said he did a lot of research. If you are listening, you should be actually jotting down. Nothing good comes easy. You need to make your own research. You need to learn. Okay? Sorry for interrupting you. We can actually go on. All right. Um, yeah. So then there were not um, so many platforms where you can learn on, like now where we have many of them. We have Binance um, Academy. We have Daba. We have... You can even learn on crypto TV plus and you can pick tips. So, but back then, there were not um, so many of them. So, it was lots of Googling and watching of YouTube videos and um, just following the market trend and understanding what it was before I um, ventured into it. So, I've okay. seen so many people that want to just because, for instance, um, the recent market boom and someone sees, some, um, sees what happens there and just feels like that is the way it is always mm -hmm. going to be. No understanding yeah. that there's also um, a time where we would have to dig, we would have to correct, you need to understand so many of this and be prepared. Because even I, myself, um, and even traders who have traded long, long time, longer than I have, than I have, um, they still lose, they still, um, um, they still um, run um, bad trades up to today. They have trades um, whereby they lose money. So okay. you also need to be prepared, not believing that, um, it's all positive and once you go in you are expecting that you start making millions immediately so that was what i meant when i right. made the statement we're going to get rich, rich quick, quick scheme, scheme. but yeah. yeah you can actually get rich and trading um, yeah okay Okay, thank you so much. So if you're watching this program and you have mm -hmm. questions, any questions for the CEO of TG14 Exchange, please drop it in the comment section and I will read them out. Okay, the next question I'll be asking is about your Rocket, um, my Rocket app, which was created by TG14 Exchange. Please, can you tell us about this app? Thank my you. Rocket app. Thank you, very Thank you very much. All right. So as I said, um, my story, go back to my story. 2018 when we started um, GG14 Exchange, and we, we, we started trading then via Instagram and WhatsApp. And, okay. Um, yeah, so that was how we started. And we noticed um, several lapses using those platforms. So we had to... Um, being a, tra being a trader, we didn't really have to do much for funding. We just had okay. to fund ourselves. We invested in 
um, setting up the website and the mobile app. And we launched um, the Chiji 14 Exchange mobile. All the platforms were live um, July 2019. That was last year. Okay. Um, we were available as, as Chiji 14 Exchange on Apple Store, iOS Store, and various websites. So we okay. moved from completely off social media, and you could, we could, you could, you could only access um, trades with us on the website or the mobile app. Okay. Um, then moving forward, um, as we grew, we got to understand that the the system we were, we were, we were running um, couldn't um, accommodate or does not really. That's that, that that is not the easiest because what we're trying to do is we know we know basically when people say um, cryptocurrencies are here to replace money as we know it. I'm a very very strong believer of that. Um, okay. Statement for sentiment, if you will say. So, yeah. we we hope to be well positioned. Um, to everybody says this, but we also want to help Russia, Nigeria, and Africa into the digital age, which is imminent. I think it's imminent, and or, or like every other sector in which um, Nigeria and Africa at large always lacks behind. We 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 do want to be frontrunners in this. So we we as um GD14 Exchange want to provide the um, Bitcoin to your doorstep as easy as it, as it gets. So we had to work on something better than what we had and then we um, put in the work and we were able to um, make the rocket up. Oh, big thanks to the wonderful thing okay. we have achieved. All right. So now that comes with wonderful features that were not on the old app. Old app. So now you see to sign up on the rocket app, you um, have access to a Naira wallet, to a Bitcoin wallet, okay. to a Naira bank account. Um, that is that is a very wonderful one. That functions just like any other bank account which you have. All you need to do is go to your um, mobile app, you search for the bank, um, do this bank, put in your account number, and then you fund, and then you get your Naira instantly. And the okay. same way you can switch with Naira for Bitcoin at very wonderful rates. A very wonderful rate, I'm going say. And then also you have easy access to your Bitcoin at any time you want. Um, you want to sell your Bitcoin, you do the same thing, you can deposit and then you get your Naira. You have easy access to your Naira. Um, so we we really had to bring um, Rocket to make um, the access to Bitcoin for our users and every other um, person around across Nigeria and Africa at large easier. And then okay. um, Hopefully, hopefully, very soon, we'll be having so many other great features, so many other right. great features that are coming out, um, um, just to list a few, we'll be having access to um, an ATM card that will be linked to That's awesome. your Naira. That's a big your one. Your Naira debit card. Um, that's it. You create a Bitcoin debit card. It's linked both to your Naira and your Bitcoin um, account. So you can have access and you can, to money wherever you are. You can pay it's online, you can pay through the POS, directly from a Bitcoin oh, wallet. Right. And oh, also right, right. Really, so many, so many other so many features are features. coming. All right, thank you for that. So a lot of questions are coming in from the comments section. And this one is from Kelvin Peters. Um, I think he said he has issues with trading on the app. So, so I would like to ask you, if they have an issue with trading on the app, what should they do? Because according to him, he's he say he traded his Express gift, his American Express gift card worth five hundred dollars, and since since on the twenty eighth of September, he hasn't been paid. So in this kind of situation, what do you, what would you tell this person to do? Who should he meet? What should he do at this point? Okay, so uh, to answer your question um, directly, um, the is the easiest way to get solution to. Some of these issues that may arise will be to um, send an email to support at chg14exchange.com. Okay, um, can I get that again? Support at what? chg14exchange.com. Okay, so please, if you can hear that you have an issue with anything, send an email to support at chg14exchange. All right? So please keep your questions coming in. Hello, can you hear me, sir? Okay, clearly. Okay, all right. There is another question from... This question actually 
is from Easy Fox. Um, quite an unusual name, Chiji 14. So please, can you enlighten us on how you came about the name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, uh, all right, so let's, my, I, as you introduced, my name is um, Chijioke, Odum Chijioke. Um, quite at a very young age, when I was 14 years, I became very much interested in anything tech, the internet, and um, I came across, I came across a, a website then that lets you set up your own forum um, for users to chat and um, communicate. So back then, trying to find a, a, a name, I was 14 years, my name was GDK. I just put it together, to was GDK 14, the month, the movie. Okay. So moving forward, because then I had, I, I had still up to now, I have wonderful friends who helped make the, the name stick. So All right. name stop, they kept on calling me GDK 14, GD. and even when I started trading on the several platforms I was using, it was GD14. Um, then, at, so when we, it was time to set up the the, the company, at, at, with, the, with the pressure then and the focus we had, the name wasn't much of an issue. So we just, we just continued with it and it just had to be GD14. GD14. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Okay, there's another question from Uba Ugochuku Evans. He says, given the recent hack trend, what security measures have you put in place to ensure that funds are safe? Okay. Um, this question has various measures. I think would 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 not be in um, express detail, would not be in full detail. But um, the infrastructure we use, for example. When it comes to the Bitcoin wallet, um, I think so many exchanges learned from what happened with Binance. Okay. Um, when Binance was so, so many exchanges, I think, um, learned from that and developed, developed um, I think, better and more secure means in order to make sure that um, users' funds. So I can assure one hundred percent that the, the, the tech we're using for our um, for the Bitcoin wallet for our users is the storage is extremely safe. Extremely um, safe. Now, now um, another point in which that is our own part. Another um, part in, in, at which um, websites or platforms are being attacked is through the user account. Um, we see that. Most common um, one around here, whereby people send you links to enter your username, your password, and things like this. So, um, for that for that particular one, I think the users um, have to be very careful with where and who they share their, their details with, um, and be very sure and that okay, you are logging into the website instead of tvcontinuexchange.com, so your, your details does not get um, stolen. Now, even even if someone get access to your your details, we also have um, another feature which we use to secure your payment, which is the PIN. So, okay. um, um, even after getting your username and your password, and before every transaction, you have to enter this secret PIN, um, which you set up as you sign up, before um, you can have access to that money. Um, also coming very 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 soon is the um, 2FA with which um, yeah. you can add an extra layer of security to your system. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for that. So, so if you're still watching this program, you heard all the security measures which has been put in place in the chg 14 exchange and their app, the Rocket app, and the money cannot be tampered with. Now, please keep your questions coming in and do not forget there is also giveaway. 100,000 are up for grabs, going to 10 people. All you have to do is follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Crypto TV Plus. Also, follow official Chiji 14 exchange on Instagram. And invite at least 10 people to this program.
and you get to win 10,000 Naira. We'll go on a quick break and we'll be right back. We'll take the rabbinic questions. Great opportunities are presented to us every day. But sometimes we miss them, living a life of regret and what ifs. Opportunities come at once. Or maybe not. Now, now, Digital Money Revolution has come to Africa. Wealth is no longer for a selected few. Money has been redefined. Introducing Tatcoin. Tatcoin is Africa's utility token that gives you access to a life of endless possibilities. You can shop, buy real estate, travel, invest, and build wealth. For more information, visit www.adisnetwork.com. with us thank you for joining us thank you for staying with us okay today's show we have the ceo of chiji 14 exchange in the person of mr odum chiji okay john and we've been asking questions and he has been answering okay thank you for sticking with us sir all right thank you all right so this is a question from azeta dave and this person says, what is one of the most challenging decisions you've made since you started CJ14 Exchange? What is that decision that's so difficult that you had to make? Most <laughs> challenging decision, yeah. Okay, um, there are quite a few, there are quite a few. Um, I would say the decision to move um, entirely, to move transactions totally off social media. Okay. Um, that was that, that was that was not an easy one because at that time I think we were, we were one of the very first um, platforms that had their applications on for Nigeria. One of one of not the very first, but I think one of on the um, store. So at that time we we're not very sure. Of course, we're getting ourselves into, but um, because the users had already embraced um, the opportunity to trade um, via Instagram or WhatsApp, okay. So um, we had to. Um, I, I we took that decision to discontinue all mm -hmm. transactions on WhatsApp and Instagram. That was a very tough one, okay. and I would say for the first for the first few months, it was it was. Um, not so easy trying to get the users to accept the new ch the new changes, but right now we we have I'm very I'm very happy we took that decision. All right, all right, okay. This question is same um, from Uba Evans. I think he has asked this question before, but he says anything or everything can be hacked. Is there any insurance policy to protect the f users' funds? Okay, he's trying to ask if there is an insurance policy to protect funds of users when they are hacked? Um, yes, he is, he is correct when he says anything everything, can, everything or anything can be hacked. 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 Yeah. Now, we only very recently moved to the automated system of trading, which gives okay. you wallets and the Naira wallet. Only very recently. And, um, I can say yes, we are working on we are working on insurance measures, but not having in mind that we because if as, as, as every day we try to improve our security, so okay. we are working on improving security than on providing insurance, believing that we will be hacked. Okay. I don't know if you get what. Yeah. So yes, we are working on that, and that would that would be set up. But we are also um, working day in day out to make sure that we have the best the best and the most secure platform for users to 
perform their cryptocurrency transactions. Okay, so Uber Evans, I hope your question has been answered. They are actually working on the insurance policy. Okay, there's a quick question from Emmanuel Pedro. He says, do CG14 trade perfect money? If no, when will CG14 start trading perfect money? Because most traders need it to find their accounts. Okay, that's a, that's a very good one. Yeah. So, no, for now we do trade perfect money. Okay. And um, also, we are, we, are, we are expanding. We are expanding. All right. Because up until now, we were only buying Bitcoin. So as a user, you could not get access to Bitcoin on the CG14 exchange platform. So with Rocket, after introducing the, the bank um, system, the banking system for you to fund easily, I think it's the easiest, um, compared to many other platforms, this is one of the easiest ways in which you can fund money with, it, with, the, with our Naya wallet. So we okay. made Bitcoin very, very accessible to users. Um, so in the same um, vein, we are introducing new um, other cryptocurrencies, so many new um, um, and very exciting um, products, and also, yeah, perfect money. So um, very soon, we also will start accepting um, um, perfect money to be traded on the platform. Okay, so very soon, CG14 Exchange will start as, um, accepting perfect money to be traded on the platform. This question is from Ikwe Deborah. And she's asking, what are your rules for KYC and AML to prevent fraud and use of funds for criminal activities? She wants to know your rules to prevent frauds and use yes. of funds for criminal activities. Yes. So um, from the previous question, I said we were not trading, we we're not allowing users to um, buy Bitcoin from, on the formal um, on the GD, on the GD button exchange app. Okay. One of the reasons that was because um, we did not have um, a very good KYC infrastructure in place. Okay. Because I'm, I'm personally, I would say this on air. I'm a very, very, I'm very, very big on um, regulation. Okay. I very much support mm. this space being regulated because I, wow. I do believe that yes, yes, I would say that I do believe that um, being left the way it is. We would hardly get anywhere. Um, which is why I do. I, I'm very. I'm talking of. I'm talking of um, the, the blockchain space. Space. Now, yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, wow. <laughs> you have to really <laughs> make that that um, <laughs> quick yeah, one. Very, He's talking about the blockchain very, space. The blockchain space in yeah. Nigeria. Um, and KYC, as we all know, know your customer is a very very big part of that. So yes, we do have um, adequate KYC. Um, validations in place now before you have access to certain um, functions on the platform. Um, because we do know that giving you a, a bank account, just imagine when we did not have the BVN yeah. um, in a few years back, um, how easy it would have been for people to launder money around. And we know also that Bitcoin being misunderstood because everything has a positive side also has a negative side. So one okay. of the negative sides that goes against Bitcoin always from um, the fact that it makes transfer of money very easy. Making transfer of money is, is the ultimate goal. It's a good goal. It's what yeah. we the folks are there for. Yeah, but um, so Bitcoin, even if one of the easiest to transfer money, very, very little fee. Um, and they say, yeah, no traces and all that. So the, these people come at it saying it helps with, it assists money laundering. But when, when you do have KYC in place, know your customer, you put um, several checks, and then there is regulation, I think. Um, it would help um, reduce the cases of money laundry and also help the law, ef law enforcement agencies um, fight any case of money laundry. I cannot hear you, please.
Okay, so um, the question is, does CJ14 Exchange have plans on expansion to other parts of Africa? Do you plan on expanding to other parts of Africa? Yes, um, definitely. That is one of our um, plans and one thing we are looking at. Um, the first destination that will be open is to be Ghana. So we are looking at... Ghana. Um, nice one. Yeah. And at making um, this very interesting tech also very easily and readily available to people. Because, as I said, the overall aim is to be well positioned in order to help um, Africa move to this very new age. Because I do believe 100% that um, crypto is here to challenge money as we know it. So, um, yes, we do have plans to move um, across Africa to, um, to other parts. Yes, we do. Okay, so this is an AMA series. Ask me anything episode on Crypto TV Plus. And this question, trust me, Mr. Chijoke, you are not expecting it. So is Mr. Chijoke John? Please, sir, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> Ask me anything. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not married, but I'm not married. So I, I didn't hear you clearly. We didn't hear you. No, I can hear you. Okay, you are not married. Okay, yes. so Mr. Chijoke is not married. Okay, in the next um, five years, where do you see Chij14 exchange? Um, being accepted everywhere across Africa. Okay. Uh, being one of the... Um, First names you call when you mention Bitcoin, when you mention cryptocurrency, nice when you mention currencies, um, and also, and also, very possibly, yes, in five years, um, being used in other parts of the world that is not even Africa. I think that is also very, very doable, and we are working daily, improving daily to achieve those goals. All right, all right. Thank you for that. So the last question I'll be asking you for today. If you are not trading, if you are not doing business, what will Mr. Chijoke be found doing? Apart from trading, apart from crypto trading, what else do you do? What do you do? Apart from crypto trading. Yes. Okay, well, okay so I'm, I'm very much interested in um, real estate. I just knew I you were going to say something about real estate. <laughs> Everybody is going into real estate. Apart from yeah. real estate, apart from anything business, what else do you do? Apart from anything business, if yes. you're asking of my own, I enjoy watching football. Football, if okay. Asking, if you're asking what I would do for money, I, I think definitely I would be a business person. Um, okay. And that's real estate. But my hobby is I enjoy watching football a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, and um, reading and learning new things every day, researching. And Searching. myself. Okay, okay. Thank you so yeah. much, sir, for honoring our invitation. Thank you for joining us today. CEO of TJ14 Exchange. And yes, it was a nice one. Please do not forget the giveaway is still up. 100,000 euro going now to 10 persons, and I have said it. All you have to do is follow us on all the social media platforms. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook at Crypto TV Plus. Also follow official chg 14 Exchange on Instagram. And if you've invited people to watch this program, trust me, you're going to have your own share. Yes. What else? Do not forget. Do not forget our crypto roast every Friday and inside blockchain show every Monday. Till we see you next time. Thank you and stay safe. Hello? Have you heard of the first crypto comedy show in Africa? Now you heard. Where you get updated, educated, and entertained on everything blockchain and fintech. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Crypto TV Plus. Do not miss Crypto Rose every Friday, showing on Crypto TV Plus. <laughs> Great opportunity.
things are presented to us every day. But sometimes we miss them, living a life of regret and what ifs. Opportunities come but once. Or maybe not. Now, now, Digital Money Revolution has come to Africa. Wealth is no longer for a selected few. Money has been redefined. Introducing Tatcoin. Tatcoin is Africa's utility token that gives you access to a life of endless possibilities. You can shop, buy real estate, travel, invest, and build wealth. For more information, visit www.adisnetwork.com. Series as every Wednesday by 4 p.m. GMT plus one. Showing only on Crypto TV Plus.